at the end of the day, you want to get paid, right? So I want to go over a little bit about payment terms, what to expect, because a lot of businesses fail just on this aspect alone. The payment terms are incredibly crucial to your cash flow, uh, which could dry out your business overnight, cause you into panic, and then have to take out a high uh, personal loan that can sink your ship. So I've seen it a million times. I wanna help you avoid that by understanding before you go into a deal, what are payment terms and how can you negotiate and prepare for that ahead of time? So first, we wanna talk about what payment terms are. Um, typically, when you buy a product at the store, you go into the store, you pay for the product, you get the product in your hands, you walk out, right? So it works a little bit differently when working with distributors and sometimes retailers. So if you go into a local store, you put your product in there, let's say it's the first time you're gonna be putting your product on the shelf. Let's say you're selling it to them, you wanna put it on consignment. Um, let's say they say, yes, I wanna buy it, come back next week, I'll pay you, uh, you know, if you drop it off on Tuesday, I'll pay you next Tuesday. That is a net seven. So you're gonna wanna be paid seven days from the day that you drop it off. Um, often, when you're working with a distributor, you really have to negotiate these terms because initially, they, they don't wanna take the risk of bringing on a product that may be broken, may not sell, so you need to work on those terms with a distributor. Uh, when you're working with smaller distributors, usually send a sample. They bring the sample around to the stores. They usually get some verbal commitments. Yes, I'd be interested. Yeah, you can bring it into the store. Then they put a small minimal order. Um, they pay it in advance. They usually pay it on a credit card. And then you know they do that in-store testing for their area. If it sells well, they then purchase from you and you can negotiate those terms, whether it's uh, paid in advance on a credit card, pay uh, seven, 15, 30 days in advance. Uh, that's important when getting started. Those are usually DSD jobbers, the smaller distributors that work that way. When you're working with a larger operation, let's say you get your product into Publix, for example. Um, Publix usually doesn't pay you. The distributor that you put the product with the Unify, Kehi, you know, Cormark, you put the product in there, then they would pay you on a net seven, net 30, net 60 day term. Um, you always wanna do your due diligence. You wanna pay attention to those terms because at the end of the day, that's when you're gonna get paid and that payment doesn't come without caveats. So a lot of the times when you're working with one of these larger distributors, um, there's returns, there's uh, expiration product, there's you know, a lot of kind of smaller warehouse fees and other things that get taken off the back of that payment. And you need to be aware of that in the initial terms when you're negotiating the contract, because at the end of the day, we've had a lot of products go that route, take a larger retail route first before starting small and they weren't making money. They weren't making a profit after all of those fees and things have been deducted. At the end of the day, they're, they're pretty much paying cost of goods. So the other terms to be aware of besides net, where it's net seven, net 15, net 30, that means net you're getting paid at those, uh, those periods after the product has been delivered. Uh, you also have COD, cash on delivery. If you have a product that gets shipped to California, you're in New York, when it gets to California, that invoice should be paid uh, immediately upon arrival. Um, that could either be paid by a shipper, um, UPS, FedEx, they do that. Um, you could also get it where you have their bank information sent and as soon as it arrives, you, know, you pull those funds from their account. The last thing is really on a credit card. So let's say you're working with a new supplier, new retailer, new distributor that doesn't have uh, the credit that they need for uh, a net 15 and net 30. So you, you run their credit, it's not good, it's not existent. You want to go ahead and make sure that you have a personal guarantee on that if you take a credit card. 
Uh, you want to have that drawn up by a lawyer. You want to make sure that it's legit because at the end of the day, if you need to pursue that, it's going to be a real pain and it may not be worth your time. So don't put too much on a credit card. Um, don't put more out there than you're comfortable losing and build trust over time, especially with uh, somebody new.